Good morning and happy day 16 of Vlogmas. I hope you guys are having a fantastic start to your weekend. The day that we're filming this is actually Thursday and it's 10 a.m. And if you're wondering why I'm not at work right now, I have taken a personal day just to kind of catch up on sleep, considering it's 10 a.m. And I've got some appointments, I'm gonna get my hair cut today. So I figured today was a good day to just take you guys along with me since it's not the usual get up, go to the office, come home, teach, eat, sleep, repeat kind of day. This is how she wakes you up too when she wants to eat or play. This is the best way to wake up. This little one has been more bitey lately because I let them outside in the morning and I haven't let her out because somewhere in the middle of the night, she lost her collar and I can't find it. She's never taken her collar off. Like, I don't even think she knows how. I have a theory that the two were like roughhousing. And as you can see, she doesn't have her collar on and I just, they're not microchips. So in the event they run outside, you know, jump the fence, go under the fence, they just both stay indoors and they're used to going outside. So they don't know why they don't. So they get really aggressive like this. It's my day off. I have contemplated ordering a Postmates breakfast and then I said what, what are you thinking you already went to fresh time which you guys went with me a few days ago and I bought those waffles so we're gonna make waffles Des. you don't care I think my cat might be a dog observe Des, I'm gonna throw this bring it here yep she's a dog That's how I get her to do exercise. bathroom is clean. I've got five minutes to make some breakfast to kind of clean up this living room area. We're going to be nice to the kittens, even though there's a little bit of snow on the ground and it's like 10 degrees outside. You're going to hear me open this door and then I'm going to put the camera on the stairs so you can see how quickly the cats try to escape. They know what's about to happen. They know. Three, two, one and I have to leave the door open when it's this cold which is not fun you guys have five minutes they're still outside <laughs> I'm trying to get in the habit now to just take five minutes and yes I set my phone to five minutes that I just clean my bathroom every single week and in that five minutes I can scrub my toilet empty my trash wipe down my mirror and my counter and just put the millions of bobby pins away and all the makeup in that's correct drawers like it's a game changer it's a five minute game changer if I ever did a video about like five minute life hacks that just make your life easier so you don't have to spend an entire day cleaning up every mess you let accumulate that might be a good deal deal that might be a good idea I'll probably forget to do it but also as you see in my b-roll I ran out of toothpaste this morning and as we've talked about many times I do have a stockpile I did share with you how I get things for free in a different video that I will have linked above in the card so you can check that out but it's real nice when you run out of things like toothpaste and hairspray and tissues just walk across the hallway out of your bathroom open up your closet and there is like your CVS it's all right there. I had all my toothpaste lined up right by my shampoos and deodorants, pulled one out, took it to my bathroom, and it was done. I know it seems super high maintenance to have to go out and buy all those things and get them for free, but one day of being a little basic and high maintenance equals two years of just having all the toothpaste that you need. I still have it on my calendar to take you guys with me in a vlog the next time I completely restock my bathroom and closet and I'll show you guys how I get all the coupons, match the sales, go through the checkout, and then stock the closet. It's time to make the kittens come back inside and make some waffles and paint my nails. It is now 11.15 a.m. and my first appointment is at one o'clock and 
you'll already know this by the time this vlog comes out, but I am doing today's Vlogmas as a live stream. I'm doing top 10 things to do on a cruise ship and I wanted to do it as a live stream just because it's really hectic to try to get a video out per day that's not live live, but like within the last 24 hours of collecting the footage. So this Thursday's video will be a live stream, so will tomorrow's. And then Saturday and Sunday, you will see pre-recorded vlogs like this one. All right, waffles are cooking and I've got a smoothie in the works. By the time you see this vlog, it hasn't happened yet right now, but I hope you all remember that HelloFresh isn't sponsoring the live stream, but they gave me two vouchers to give away for a free week's worth of HelloFresh. Anyway, by this point in time, two people will have had their vouchers given to them for a week's worth of HelloFresh meals. If you weren't able to make the live stream and are still interested, I will have a code down below that gives you $40 off a week's worth of food as well. Again, not sponsored, not paid by them. They just really liked what we were doing with the live stream, raising money for Operation Christmas Child. They actually asked me to give it a name and Christopher and I called it Caroling for a Cause. The last one, by the way, if I didn't mention it before, the last Caroling for a Cause will happen next Thursday, not on a Friday, and it will be at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Got some West Coasters that wanna join and not be in the office. Breakfast is served, we have waffles. We've got some of that Trader Joe syrup you saw during the haul. Some freshly washed grapes. And I just finished blending up a smoothie. This is a mixture of bananas, blueberries, almond milk, almond butter, protein powder. It doesn't look super good in here, but it, it's really good, I promise. And then in the room where I'm eating, I have a big glass of lemon water. You guys, I've been watching this show on Netflix that I haven't heard anybody else talk about, but it's called Amazing Hotels, and it just tells the story behind the lobby. Like, they have these two hosts that go behind the scenes. Right now, I'm watching a hotel made of ice, completely of ice. The rooms, the beds, everything. And people actually want to sleep in these, like, 20-degree Fahrenheit rooms, and it's just blowing my mind. If you cannot hear, they all have accents. Oh, they get in saunas in the mornings, probably because they're freezing all night. Anyway, it's an amazing hotel, life behind the lobby on Netflix. I need to clean up my breakfast plates and bundle up because it's time to go. Getting this haircut. If you watch my like how I save money videos, um, I don't go to the salon to get my hair cut. I go to a family friend who used to work for like Avita salons and now she just runs one out of her home. So that's where I go. You see these boots? They have a hole in the bottom. So when I go outside and walk in the snow and the ice, I guarantee you I'm going to feel some water or melted ice in these boots in like the next five minutes. Other fun news is this flower is like 90% falling off and I need to go get a needle and thread and fix it. And this is like my favorite little hack so I can pin it on to keep my ears warm and not mess up all my beautifully styled hair. Excuse me, that's about to go get cut. You wanna go outside? Oh, you wanna scratch your back on the mat. Okay. Guys, look, I'm a human again. I got my hair cut. She said it was super healthy, so washing that hair once a week. She's also European and she let me know that that's pretty standard in Europe to like wash your hair once a week, so maybe I'm secretly British. Anyway, my hairdresser and I were talking about how companies are now trying to help people maintain a work-life balance. Uh, long story short for her, she used to work just in salons, like Kenneth's hair spa. Now she's getting another degree. She's going to be working with expecting moms getting their ultrasounds and scheduling various appointments throughout their pregnancy. And she was letting me know how a lot of these big companies, not just hospitals, but like insurance, just big Fortune 100 companies, are now offering services to like get your car's oil changed and it's gas filled and clean out the car and valet service and groceries to your door because a lot of people are having a hard time maintaining the work-life balance and it's causing a lot of people to leave their jobs so to maintain employment and not lose their good workers a lot of these companies are offering those perks question of the day to you guys what is your work-life balance routine in other words what do you do when you're not working to help balance you out what are your hobbies or your downtime or what things do you look forward to when you're not in the office I would have to say for me it would be piano I know it's a business, but teaching my music lessons is just a way for me to, one, use my degree, 
and just let me, you know, feel like I'm making a difference in future of music and the performing arts. I like a lot of Netflix. Obviously, I like a lot of YouTube. I'm getting into running again. I would like to start running or hiking outside now that I've got this big parka and hopefully get all my like hats and winter gear put together. And I would like to start training for a 5K and maybe finish the Insanity program. I got like two weeks into it and then life just happened and tech week and rehearsals and it was either sleep or workout and I decided to get some sleep because I was exhausted. But I want to know, what are your guys' hobbies? How do you maintain the work-life balance. A weekend routine, give a specific way you use your paid days off, your vacation time. Let me know down below. You guys, I wasn't going to share this in the vlog and I figured, wait, I have to share this in the vlog because we've talked about getting things for free and buying gift cards for, for ugh, I can't speak, getting gift cards for fuel points. I am now at my Giant Eagle gas station. Gas is $2.20 and I currently have $2.40 off a gallon for a 30 gallon fill up, which means I'm going to fill up this car because the gas light is on. I need 16 gallons of gas in this car and I'm going to pay $0 for it. If I were smart, I would go in there and see if they have a gas can, but I really doubt they do. I still need to order that gas can. Amazon wish list, where are you? That is what magic looks like. Gallons going up those people asking or those people that think that we are insane for buying gift cards for things we're already gonna buy for free gas I just was gifted $66 $2.20 cents per gallon for 30 gallons of gas for free $66 for doing nothing more than just going and buying gift cards for things I was going to buy anyway so not a bragging issue I'm just letting you know for those people that are like hmm, is it really worth it Gas up your car, girls. Ladies and gentlemen, we don't discriminate. Ladies and gentlemen, no one got time to be paying money for gas when you have the option to get it for free. I decided to make an impromptu trip to the post office since I haven't been at all this month. Oh my gosh, you guys are amazing. I know some other people said they're sending stuff and I want to do a big mail time video for you all at the end of vlogmas and give you all a much deserved shout out i'm not going to show you guys addresses on here this is unbelievable the line here at the post office is actually out the door i don't know what this parcel is i'm going to come back um i'm going to write you all back before i actually open these because i want to film one mail time for vlogmas it'll probably be at the very end and i'll send you all individual either email or like a video like, hey guys, I'm gonna open your mail. Cause I don't wanna open it and write you guys back and then have to fake being surprised on camera for one mail time. I want to be surprised and read all of your messages, you know, on camera. That's why you guys sent them. There's a lady staring at me that thinks I am weird. She's just gonna ignore it. It's cool. But you guys, thank you. This is so great. I did not expect to have enough mail to do a mail time. I mean, I would have done it with like one parcel. Had been like, hey guys, it's me. Here's my one piece of mail. I asked in a couple vlogs past if you wanted to do a no spend January with me and if you wanted me to document it. And you all said, yes, yes, yes. Every Saturday in the month of January, I'm going to go live Saturday morning. So bring your hugs and mugs, your hot coffee, your cocoa, your tea. We're going to spend every Saturday morning, probably 10 or 11 Eastern Standard, so those on the East Coast can hang out with us too. We're gonna talk some finance because we ain't gonna be spending a lot of cash. Next month will be no spend January. Do an envelope stuffing video before the end of this year, like past Vlogmas, somewhere between Christmas and New Year, I'll be stuffing my January envelopes. I'm gonna do the entire month in one stuffing and say, okay, here's what you get for the month for these categories. Don't overspend. And then whatever money I have left over is gonna go into a little fund so I can have Valentine's Day dinner and then the next day is my birthday so i can like do something nice for that time of year i am back it is much later it's just after six o'clock i got all my errands run dinner i did my cruising live stream and i pre-filmed a video that's going to go live over the weekend since i'm going to be at my little brother's college graduation we're all grown up now all three of the base work kids are all grown up i'm also joined by christopher he looks very enthused i agreed to watch star wars with him tonight one of them. There's more than one? There's only- wait, how many Star Wars are there? The Star Wars story. Then there's the expanded universe, which used to be part of the canon now. It's considered legends.
but there's like thousands and thousands of books and comic books, um, video games. Anyway, before we jump into all that just happened in my life, I had written in the comments on a video I think yesterday that I was at a musical audition and I got a DM on my Instagram and somebody had asked me in so many crude words, like, if you like musical theater so much, do you support, and this is their words, dem, D-E-M, dem gays, question mark. And I realized I have never talked about this on my channel. I don't even know if YouTubers are allowed to talk about these things, but I don't know why being involved in musical theater means you do or don't support anyone. I don't see how those two are connected, Christopher. Listen. We don't talk about those things on this channel, A, because that's not the kind of channel this is, but if you're so intrigued to know my honest theory, and this is what I give people whenever I get asked this sort of question, particularly in America with the whole issue of like same-sex marriage and rights, my theory on this is if you live in my country, you pay the same tax as I do, and you are expected the same life, liberty, pursuit of happiness I am, there is no right that I should have that you shouldn't have. That's it. I don't bring religion into it because it doesn't have to be brought in. If you feel the need to bring it in for your own opinion, that's your opinion. But this is mine. If you live in my country, you pay everything I do, and you're living under the same rights that I have, you should have everything that I have. Anyway, apparently I promised Christopher, because he wasn't feeling well earlier, I promised him that I was going to watch a Star Wars movie. This may be a mistake. It's probably going to be a mistake, but... Or you're going to become, like, super into Star Wars. Yep. And then is that the, become a... Is that the future of my channel? We're going to become a Star Wars channel? I think it would do well for you. I'll watch Star Wars and I'm just going to relax because it's, it's still the end of my day off. I took a personal day. I was very excited to take a personal day. That is all for today's vlog, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. So here, Christopher, I'll let you do the outro. If you like this video, like it. If you subscribe to my channel, subscribe to my channel. If you don't do those things, you're lame and get out. Or come back and do them. It'll be great. Happy Hanukkah! One more thing, you guys. This year, I have been nominated for a Broadway World Award for Best Leading Actress in a Musical from when I did Pirates of Penzance, and voting is open from now until December 31st. All you have to do to cast a vote is enter a valid email address go down click continue i'll be category number six best leading actress in a musical you can click continue through all of them you'll find my name in category six and bonus points if you can find my boyfriend chris rusin he'll be in category 26. once you click through all the categories you'll enter your name your email address you'll select no to receive any future updates then you just click finish and you are done once again voting is open from now until december 31st Please share this with anybody who you would know would like to support the arts, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.